The, uh, the odds that terrorists are coming across our southern border into the United States are increasing on an hour-by-hour -hour basis. Last week, if you remember, I spoke about Cuba, Iran, <coughs> North Korea, and Syria, the state sponsors of terror that our Border Patrol agents are encountering on our southern border. By the way, since October 1st, look at the month of October, hundreds of individuals from just those four countries have crossed the southern border in the United States. In September, it was more than 1,000. Let me highlight another, and that's Yemen, home of the Houthis. If you've been watching the news in the last couple of hours, the Houthis officially declared war on Israel. 74 citizens of Yemen were encountered on our southern border last year. Afghanistan, Lebanon, Somalia, Russia, more than 500 crossed here from those countries last month. People there, they hate us. So we should be prepared that they could attack us from within. Money's not going to stop it. This is primarily a policy battle. We need to tighten the asylum standards. We need to reform the parole program. And yes, we should finish building the wall. I want to make a short comment about anti-Semitism and what's happening in our country. Over the weekend, we saw protests over in London. We saw riots in Russia in an airport searching for Jews, asking for papers to find the Jews. But here at home, look at our campuses. Cooper Union, Jew Jewish students were locked in a library, hiding in an attic, scared for their lives. Cornell, Jewish students were threatened and told just to hide. In Tulane, Jewish freshman was assaulted and a nose broken. Anti-Semitism equates the hatred of the Jews. And this must be forcefully condemned by U.S. leaders. Leader McDonald.